Welcome to Adventures with the Craft Nerd. Today we are making the Sloth Shrinky Dink Necklace. So, uh, here's a fun fact about Shrinky Dinks. In 1973, the first Shrinky Dinks were sold in Brookfield, Wisconsin. Thirteen years later, the famous color and bake toys had become a national phenomenon and a staple of virtually every cartoon merchandising campaign. While their mass appeal has subsided, Shrinky Dinks are still available and more versatile than ever. With new inkjet printable sheets, you can design your own shapes and prepare them in your oven. So that is what we're going to be doing today. Uh, first things first, we're going to need to give you a list of materials. So you're going to need shrinky dink paper. This is a piece that I took a chunk out of, but it's 8 by 11, 8.5 by 11, like normal printer paper. So you're gonna need that. You're gonna need scissors. You're gonna need a hole puncher. You're gonna need a printout of the image that you're tracing, or you can do it by by freehand. But since the shrinking paper is transparent, it's smart to you know print it out, trace it, so that you don't have the hassle of having to redo it and then you have to like buy new paper and it's like seven to eight dollars per um, pack so it gets expensive and there's only a few papers in each pack. Um, so then what else? You need a spatula, you need tin foil, and you need string. So first things first is to preheat the oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit which I have done my oven is to the left of me and then what you're going to want to do is take your uh, image that you printed out you're going to put it down in front of you and you're going to trace the image onto the shrinking paper scratchy side up. Hold on one second. That's what happens when you leave your phone on and people are trying to contact you. So I put that on silent. Um, so yeah, so I already did that. I traced my image onto my shrinking paper and I did an image of a sloth because I just think sloths are the cutest thing ever. Um, so that's done. What I also did was punch two holes in the legs of this little critter so that I can hang it from a necklace. Here's an example of a shrinky thing that I did a while ago. Um, you can sell these as jewelry. They sell pretty well. I've sold um, a couple at little jewelry gigs that I've gotten. Um, okay, so we have our shrinky dink prepped. Now we're going to put it in the oven, which is already preheated and wrapped in tin foil, which is what you're supposed to do so that it doesn't pick up any of the gross stuff that was on the um, pan before. So, taking my spatula, my shrinky dink, going over to the oven. Alright, so, you can see what I'm doing. I'm taking my shrinky dink and I'm putting it uh, scratchy side up putting it down in the pan and it's going to start to shrink. It's going to sh start shrinking immediately and it's going to want to curl into itself so what I like to do is hold my spatula over top of it so that it doesn't get super um, wound into itself because then it can kind of wreck it. This is the trickiest part of the process. And if you're a kid and you're doing this at home, make sure you have your parents helping you or supervising. So it's going to want to stay in there for about a minute to three minutes. And then you'll be able to take it out and be careful because it will be hot. And you're going to want to press it flat as soon as possible because it can curl up into itself and then you have to reheat it so that it's 
able to be flexible. So, give it a few seconds, let's check on it again. Oh, it's completely shrunken in size, it's about, definitely about half the size than we started with. So starting to get there. I'm pressing it down flatter so that it doesn't get warped. some money off of. So this is how much it shrunk down from. So we're just going to compare really quick. Let's compare my shrinky dink sloth to the sloth that I traced from the printable. That's quite a significant change. Alright, so now that we have him, it's all done. It's got the two holes in it, and good thing we put the holes in before and now we just thread our string through. Usually, I use like twine. I mean, you can get nicer string. I think that's recommended. You thread it through. The string is really crappy. But, the main point is that it hangs, you can put it around your neck, like a necklace, and there we go. We have a sloth shrinky dink necklace. Stay tuned next time for some more crafts with the Craft Nerd.